Hello everyone, I'm Cole from the Kingdom, and welcome back to my Dragon Age headcanon series, where I talk about the different choices I've made throughout the games, and why. Today we're talking about more of the DA2 decisions. Let's start off with a big one, and that is the whole deal with Isabella and the Arashak. So, I gain the Arashak's respect, and I max out my friendship with Isabella, so she ends up returning the tome after a lot of people have already died. When the Arashak demands to take her with him, I say no, because it doesn't matter what Isabella did, she came back and did the right thing. Having just witnessed the brutality of the Canari, I won't subject her to that. But here's the thing. I think the story is better if she doesn't return it. The scene is just better if it comes down to the Arashak and Hawk battling for the fate of Kirkwall, instead of just the fate of Isabella. Don't get me wrong, I'm still mad at her. A lot of people died because of her, even if she did the right thing in the end. But if she returns, I get to kill Castillon. Yeah, no, I'm not letting the slaver go. So the next thing isn't really much of a decision, but I want to talk about it anyway. In Act 3, when Meredith asks for your help tracking down the escaped mages, I side against her in the opening scene. I, I used to try not to take sides, but Meredith has seized control of the city, and it, it's just not okay. She's basically declared martial law. Well, sometimes I'll agree to help her for the mage's sake, but I also like to refuse because I refuse to be bossed around by her. But then she pulls this out on me. You have a sister in the circle of magi, do you not? Bethany is her name. Ooh boy, that gets me fired up. I feel two very intense emotions at the same time. One part of me goes, okay, I'll do it, whatever you say, no problem, you're in charge, whatever you want, just, just please don't hurt my sister. And the other part of me goes, don't you dare threaten my sister. I will cut you down here, consequences be damned. You will not lay a finger on her. Very, very good scene. It brings genuine emotion out of me. That is a testament to the writing of both Bethany and Meredith. I think. Maybe it's just, maybe it just affects me more than others. But anyway, uh, I tell Emile de Lance to return to the circle and don't let him lose his virginity to her. I also tell Ella, the girl Anders almost kills, to return to the circle as well. Bethany told me about her, and all things considered, it's really not safe for her to run away when she'll be tracked down by Templars and probably summarily executed or worse. And I guess the last thing I may as well mention is this Gascard guy who we find while looking for the serial killer. Yeah, I never thought he was the killer, so I let him go, but he is still a blood mage and he did kidnap a woman, even if it was to protect her. I let him go so he can pursue the killer, but the whole scene moves kind of fast, so I don't even really feel like I have much of a choice. So yeah, that about does it. Let me know in the comments what you think of my choices, and let me know what other choices you'd like to see me cover. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment and like. I'll see you later.